Warwick, um, here at Peterborough United, obviously, I know you're not a massive football fan, but I know your family are, and they've been to Peterborough United quite a few times now. Yeah, my son Harrison is a, is a big posh supporter, as is my sister-in-law, Hayley. Um, football for me, um, you know, the memories of football that I've got are from when I was a kid, and, you know, being half the height of my mates at school, kind of joining in with a football game was, was quite a challenge. Um, you know, and, and, and playing school football, I was never picked. You know, when they picked teams, I was the last one standing there waiting to be picked, which was awful. Uh, and then uh, once the game started, the ball never came anywhere near me. You know, and, and unfortunately at my school, the, the football kit was like a black and white and they kept thinking I was the ball, which was, which was a problem. Uh, but I do remember one day, uh, and it, it's, it's stuck with me because it was such a sort of momentous occasion that I, I scored a goal. But I accidentally scored the goal because I was standing around about the goal sort of area waiting for the ball and somebody kicked it and it bounced off me and went in the goal. Hey, okay. and, and I was celebrated literally because we won the match because of that and um, I, you know, I never told him it was accidental, I, I, I sort of just took credit, yeah, so yeah, just, just waiting in the right position, it's strategic. Um, so, so for me, the, those sort of memories of football have, I, I'm not a huge fan of sport in general but... Yeah. Um, but I think it's good to get behind your local team if you can, and uh, you know I think it's it's great what they're doing. I, I kind of understand as well why people get so passionate about football, you know, because when you watch it, you can't help but get a bit excited about it, can you? Yeah, if we win today, it's down to you, of course. Well, I don't know, is it? I don't know. I think you can take some credit. I yeah. Some credit. I mean, yeah. I mean, what? I, I, I mean, hats off to players who do this because they come out in all weathers and play, and you know there's a lot of running about. It's quite a big pitch. Um, and, uh, they do get paid quite well, though, don't they? To be fair. Well, there is that, isn't there? Got to balance it. Up. There is that. Yeah. Um, Celebrity yeah. Squares. You've, you've, you've obviously been filming this year and has, has been mm -hmm. out. I mean, how, how was that to film? Was that a program you watched growing up? I, I used to watch Bob Monkhouse uh, presenting Celebrity Squares with my nan, and we loved it. And to think now that I'm the host of the show is is fab. It was a challenge. I've never hosted a game show before, uh, but you know, I, I'd like a challenge in my career, and um, so I, I I took it on and. Uh, People enjoyed the show, ITV loved it. We're doing another series this year, uh, which is which is really exciting. Some great guests lined up already for the show, some great squares, and uh, so it should be fun, yeah. yeah. If you could have an ideal guest on the show, who would it be? Oh, I'd love to get Carl in one of the squares. I think mm -hmm. it would be brilliant, just hearing his answers about stuff and his whole attitude about it would be fun. I'm, I'm still working on persuading him. <laughs> is, it, is there another show that's been you know big, big in yesteryear that you'd love to bring back? Obviously, it's the generation game, something I'd love to do. Yeah. I, I used to love Bruce Forsyth, a particular hero of mine. So to see to see that show come back, and I'd love to host it. It would be fab. Yeah. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so that that that'd be the one I want to see. Life Too Short was a, was a big success. Obviously, Thank you must you. have enjoyed um, working with with Ricky and obviously Stephen. It was uh, yeah. uh, received very well. Yeah, it's ever popular as well. People are still discovering it. I get tweets every day about the show oh wh why didn't I see this sooner it's brilliant and and uh, so it's lovely to have something like that that's that's circulating that, that people really enjoy and, and kind of um, you yeah, can get some uh, some entertainment from. yeah what was that like to film was that was it strange? Um, I, I mean life to short was a challenge to make the series I mean it was a it was a lot for me to take on um, you know kind of one, one of my first sort of comedy acting roles and uh, you know, I had a lot to live up to. Ricky and Stephen wrote the series, brilliant script, and you know, there were high expectations of it. So I was, I was determined to do a good job of it. And, and recently, you've been on the big fat anniversary quiz of the year. That yeah, I did that. Yeah, um, it's, a, it's, um, it's a great show. That I enjoyed it. I mean, when when you film that show, though, it takes about five hours. You know, whereas you see about two hours yeah. of it when you watch the show. Uh, but yeah, uh, but it was fun. I mean, uh, I. Uh, I didn't get much of a word in though with Jonathan. You, you don't tend to. He talks no, a lot. the big celebrity, big stars, but <laughs> in terms of big personalities on that show. Yeah, absolutely. But it was really lovely to do. Yeah, and we won as well, which is important. I'm not competitive, but then I am. Hang it's on, nice my flight's about to leave. Just wait for the. I'm looking at the, uh, thank you, thank you very much. I'm looking at the lawn out here. I'd like to have whoever's the gardener here, I'd like to get them because that lawn looks amazing. I, I, I'm not too sure he's available for hire, if Isn't I'm honest. He? He's um, got a bloody big lawn mower. Look at the size of the stripes. It's an incredible well, thing he drives up and down. But uh, yeah, I wish my lawn looked like that. The dog sees to it that it doesn't, unfortunately. 
<laughs> we'll get we'll get him we'll get him on camera and ask the question. Um, yeah. I mean, you you've you done quite a lot of TV in this in this last year. Obviously, you sort of made your name in film. Is TV your home or? Uh, well, I mean, I'm getting a lot of a lot of TV jobs at the moment. You know, ITV in particular uh, are asking me to do quite a lot of things, which is lovely. I've just done another series of weekend escapes. Uh, with with the family, which is our travel show where we mm -hmm. we explore Britain as a holiday destination. So there'll be another series of that coming uh, this spring, uh, and uh, I've also got a new show coming, which starts actually next weekend, uh, called Planets Got Talent, which mm -hmm. uh, again celebrates those Got Talent shows from around the world. Yeah. So we've got Britain's Got Talent, but pretty much well, there's 69 countries that have the Got Talent format. Kazakhstan's Got Talent, India, China, and they all kind of look similar. Yeah. But the acts are out of this world. Some of them are brilliant, inspirational. Some of them are ridiculous. Where's the most ridiculous from? Whereabouts? Well, I mean, there was one in India that I just recorded the voiceover for this episode. And, th and there's a lady on a moped without a crash helmet on. And she's riding through sort of strips of glass that are across the track where she's riding with her head bashing through them. I what? mean, how did she discover that talent? <laughs> You know, just, just get on a motorbike and accidentally ride through a greenhouse and think, hang on, I didn't get hurt. I'm going to go on telly and do this. What was she thinking? So there's there's some ridiculous things on there, but then some brilliant ones as well. It's a lot of fun. I suppose with those talent shows, you, you unearth things that, as you say, where do you learn to do that sort of stuff? I mean... Yeah. I mean, these shows bring people out, though, don't they? I think, you know, there's, there's a lot of the population has got an entertainer kind of inside them, a frustrated one. And, you know, many of them just, you know, sing in the shower, keep it at home. But there's some people who want to take it further and the Got Talent shows allow them to do that. Some of them shouldn't take it further, <laughs> to be honest. They should leave it in the home, but they don't. <laughs> and uh, we all enjoy seeing that then, don't we? Uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens, I know you can't talk about it too much, but you are in the film. Um, I am in the film. Has, has filming taken place? Filming has taken place. Filming is complete on the, on the film. Um, how, <laughs> <laughs> uh, without giving anything away, how much can people look forward to? This? Obviously not. I mean, I'm a fan of the films as well, and I've, I've said this before. You know, I, I grew up with Star Wars, and to be part of it is such an honour. And you know, I think with the new ones, I'm as excited as anybody to see them. And you know, I can tell you, you won't be disappointed with the films. I mean, they're just they're going to be brilliant. J.J. Abrams is a great director. You know, he he did. I think he did Star Trek Justice with the new ones and, and I think he's he's obviously very aware of what he's taken on here and, and as a fan himself will want to make the best film he possibly can and uh, he's certainly got the right team around him to do that. Yeah, film comes out in December so a long time to wait. No, it is, isn't it? I mean, it's a long time. We were treated to a teaser trailer recently which yep. uh, excited the, the taste buds of the fans. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it is a long time though, isn't it? And just finally, 2015, you, you mentioned one of the two things that you, you've got yes. it's uh, a year to look forward to. It is, yeah. I mean, there's, uh, the, the interesting thing about my line of work is I never know what's going to happen next. You know, I could get a phone call on Monday that says, you know, you're doing this, is a whole new opportunity. Um, but then again, I might not. You know, and that's the exciting thing about being an actor. Sometimes there's no work. Sometimes there's, there's lots of work. And, uh, you know, so it, it's, it's not for everyone. It's not for the faint-hearted because you've got to pay the bills. But, uh, you know, when you're... When you're riding a wave of success, you've just got to make sure you try and maintain that and uh, hope it lasts a while. But don't we'll end see. up in a celebrity view of the house. <laughs> well, that is the thing. That is, that's, that's, I don't know who's in that this time. A lot I'm, of Americans. It, a lot of Americans really. this year. I think they've, they've probably renamed it the wrong, the wrong country, to be honest. But, oh, I see. Yeah, they're um, all coming over. Yeah. But, uh, Checkers but, is in it. So that's, is he? Yeah, Checkers is in it. Is he really? I mm. might watch. I like Checkers. Uh, he could win it. He's a good lad. It'll be interesting seeing him in there, though, won't it? Because uh, you, know, you can only hold up your kind of persona for so long yeah you know and and but Cheggers he's Cheggers uh, trust me he's like that all the time oh God. I mean when I'm filming with him in the morning he's well, hey you know it's six o'clock and you're like yeah all right Keith <laughs>